glitches in Super Mario Bros. 3. Number 5. Toad Secret Shop and Treasure Ships. They are in this place, for they were the first secrets that needed precise steps in order to be found, so they are a little bit complex. To find a Toad Secret Shop, aka White Mushroom House, you need to collect specific coins in a determined stage. Each world has a secret shop except for World 8. We can recognize it by its peculiar color. In the NES version, secret shops are white, as for the All-Stars version, they are blue. After finding the shop, Toad will reward us with a P-Wing or an Anchor. Depending on the stage, we get the secret. As for the treasure ships, the requisites are equally complex. We need to finish the stage with a coin number that is a multiple of 11. Then these numbers have to be the same as the second digit of the score. And lastly, the timer has to end with a pair number. This secret will only work if there is a Hammer Bros in the map. As reward, we'll get a ship full of coins. It may appear not that hard, but back then it was a real challenge to the players because we didn't have guides or internet. Number 4. The Fort Whistle or Magic Flute. This glitch can only be done in the Japanese NES version. It is located in the first stage of World 5. We need to pass the stage equipped with a P-Wing for this is the only item that can help us reach a special area. Near the end of the level, we'll go all the way up this wall. And walk slowly till we hear a sound. Then we'll run to the end of the level where there should be an enemy that looks like glitch textures. Hit him with Mario's tail and wait until he goes off screen. Then take the card to finish the level. This will cause a chest to appear, which will contain the fourth whistle. If you walk more than needed, you will hear the sound two times. And after doing the next steps, the chest will contain a music box instead of a flute. Number 3. Bowser doesn't spit fire. This glitch is not in this place because of its usefulness, since Bowser is an easy boss to beat. The reason is that this is not a glitch. The developers put this intentionally as a secret, so it makes it more interesting. To activate this secret, we need to get to the final boss area using a P-Wing. Go all the way up this left wall and pass to the other side. We'll find a room that is identical to the previous one. Then, without triggering the boss fight, we need to go back to the other side of the wall. Now, when we activate the final boss fight, Bowser will not spit fire. The developers replicated the same secret in the version of All-Stars, confirming that this is not a glitch, but a secret left to be discovered by the most curious players. Number 2. Finishing the game in less than 5 minutes. This glitch is only possible in the NES version, because it was repaired in All-Stars. It would take a long time to explain all the logic behind this very complex glitch, so I'll just explain how to do it. We need to get to World 7 using the two flutes that can be obtained in the first world and enter the first stage wearing the raccoon suit. Grab this Koopa and throw it at this block. Take the second Koopa and do the same with the other block. Afterwards, grab this flying Koopa and take it down to this place. We need to throw it and make sure it ends up aligned with the pipes in this specific way. Go back to the beginning of the stage. Let this Koopa hit Mario. Grab it. And align Mario below this pipe. Now, we'll wait until the Koopa shell starts moving. As soon as it starts shaking, jump and go up into the pipe. Let Mario get hit again by the Koopa, but at the same time press down so the Koopa gets aligned. Finally, we need to execute a very specific glitch. Jump to the left of the screen and enter into the pipe by this side, pressing the buttons displayed on screen. This will send Mario into the opposite direction in which he should enter the pipe. Mario will go down so low that we will start seeing junk textures. If we did it correctly, all that's left is to hit an invisible node block that will send us directly to the credits. In case you would like us to explain this glitch thoroughly, write it in the comments and we'll make a video to share in the page. 
honorable mentions. Infinite Lives. In this game we have great movement freedom thanks to the enemies and the power-ups. Thus, we can find many creative ways of getting infinite lives. Going through walls. It's not a glitch exclusive of this game, but it takes some great meaning as it allows the player to access many places and to pass the levels in an easier way. This glitch is done by entering the walls through a certain pixel. This will cause the game to expel Mario to the other side of the wall. Number 1. Running Backwards. This glitch is exclusive of the All-Star Simulator version for the reason that in a normal console the controller will not support the required inputs. We need to press right and left at the same time. This will grant Mario an impressive speed, even without pressing the accelerate button. This glitch reduces the difficulty of the game and shortens the time needed to pass certain stages in an extraordinary way. Considering that many people who have seen this glitch in our videos have asked me how to do it, and the fact that running backwards breaks the game so easily, we decided to give this glitch the first place in this top.